Wednesday. It is currently Monday when I'm filming this video and it is 6 30 in the morning. Where am I going you might be asking? Well I am headed over to McDonald's because if you didn't know where I live the internet or the Wi-Fi is great other than to upload videos it does not work. It takes hours and hours so I stop at McDonald's which is about 10 minutes away from my house. We live kind of out in the country and I use their Wi-Fi to upload. So I'm going to actually upload meal prep and my weekend vlog and then I am heading to Jazzercise. So Monday mornings I usually go to class from 8 to 9 a.m. That way, first thing during the week, I'm getting a killer workout in. So I'm headed there. I did have my coffee, so I'll go ahead and insert a picture here. It is one smart point. I use the Vital Proteins, Collagen Peptides, as always, and I have some of the Organic Valley Creamer, four shots of espresso from my espresso machine, and that's all that I've had so far. I generally don't eat before my workout. I'll have breakfast when I get home. And right before my workout, I'll take my pre-workout, so I'll show that to you guys. And yeah, we're just going to start our day off right with coffee, uploading videos, and jazzercise. <music> All right, it is 12 minutes to 8 a.m. I have my pre-workout here. I put about 10 ounces of water in with the My Adventure to Fit pre-workout. I'll pop a picture in here for you. I do have 10% off linked down below. This is the same company I get my greens and my CalMeg from, so highly recommend. I'm gonna shake this up, down this, and I am gonna go work out. All right, Jazzercise is complete. I am sweaty as crazy. I am going to mix up my BC. AAs. I take these after Jazzercise. These are the Beyond Raw and Watermelon. I'll link these down below for you guys. These are amazing. They help with muscle and joint recovery and just kind of help you get going and help your muscles recover a little faster from a hard workout. So huh, I'm still out of breath and sweaty. It is hot as you know what out. So I'm going to go ahead and sip on these while I head home and I'll be back for breakfast. All right, I'm home. I'm home, everyone. Do you know what time it is? You want treats? Okay, let's do it. For you, and for you. All right, it is breakfast time, it's 9.30. I just got home from Jazzercise, so I have my meal prep that I made on Monday. This is my mixed fruit protein baked oatmeal. It's amazing, it is so good. I highly recommend this recipe. It is on my website. My website is linked down below for you guys. And I'm gonna have some blueberries, and some water, and I think I'm just gonna watch a little YouTube while I enjoy this morning's breakfast. Best day ever when Imperfect Foods arrives. If you guys aren't familiar with what Imperfect Foods is, it is a company that helps reduce food waste. So you can buy some of your favorite products, produce, and all types of foods, including fruits, vegetables, meats, cheeses, drinks, pretty much anything and everything you can find from Imperfect Foods. It is generally overstocked that they'd rather sell to us then throw away so it really helps reduce food waste so you guys know i am obsessed with imperfect foods so it's always a good day when this baby shows up oh look at all the good stuff you guys i have a huge order this week so let's jump into what i grabbed from imperfect foods first i grabbed another loaf of this essential bake take and bake garlic bread you guys this was so good my husband even said can you order another one of those loaves of bread when you do your next box because it was literally that good and i do get an imperfect foods box every two weeks not every week so this is certified organic it is literally incredibly delicious i believe it is five smart points per slice well worth it and then I saw these, and I've actually never seen these in my store. This is the Elmhurst Oat Creamer in French Vanilla. So it only has 15 calories for one tablespoon. It has good ingredients with the exception of natural flavors, but you guys know any type Anytime you buy a flavored creamer or milk of any sort, oat milk, almond milk, it's going to have natural flavors. So I'm okay with that. So I grabbed the French vanilla and then you guys look at this flavor, chai spice. Uh, yes, please. Oh, and this is plant-based as well. 
So I'm excited for that. I also grabbed a couple of teas. I saw this teas tea, and this is organic tea. You always wanna buy your tea organic because the leaves are heavily sprayed with pesticides. So by getting them organic, you avoid a lot of that. So this is basically just unsweetened green tea. So of course it's zero calories, but I thought that this would be nice and refreshing. You could squeeze a little lemon or lime in there. And I think I got two, yes, I got two of the tea. So I'm excited for that. And then I saw these. So these were new to me. These are the Distel, Distel Organic Turkey Burgers. You guys know I love the Applegate ones, but I wanted to try something a little bit different. Love that these are organic, and that means that it is good quality non-GMO feed to these turkeys and these chickens of the world. So these are 170 calories per burger. So, of course, I'll put the points here on the screen because I'm not really sure, but I'm excited for that. And I did a repurchase on the Mary's Ground Turkey. You guys know that I bought this in my last Imperfect Foods box. This was actually really, really delicious ground turkey. So I picked that up. And then I decided to do a repurchase as well on the Coleman Natural Bacon. A lot of you reached out to me and said that this is the best bacon. There's no sugar added to this bacon. It was really, really delicious. So I had to pick up another package. And another repeat purchase was this Essential Baking Artisan Thin Crust Pizza. You guys, this is so good. Oh my gosh, it's so, so good. It is 450 calories for the entire crust or 150 calories for one third of it, I think it's four points. So I think you can have the whole crust for like 11 or 12 points. It is so good, really, really good ingredient. So I grabbed that so that we could do another pizza night. And then everything else I have, oh, look at that. Looky, looky, I did get three teas. Okay, I think these were like 99 cents, so I grabbed three of them. And I also see kind of down here, which I'm glad it's on the ice pack. I found this organic, so this was really exciting, organic beef sirloin steak. So 100% grass-fed and finished steak. And this was a pretty good deal. I wanna say it was less than $10, which is a great price for organic steak. So picked that up. My husband will be happy to have a steak night. He gets tired of turkey and chicken. All right, so everything else is produce. So I've got a whole bunch of zucchinis. These are so cute. Look at the size of these little guys. How many do I have? Three. I have three little organic zucchinis. And just so you know, all of the produce that I choose to buy is organic. So those are the zucchinis. Oh, and then I picked up some organic green onions because you know that Trader Joe's doesn't sell them organic, which is so weird to me. And then a boatload of limes because between limes and lemons, that's basically what I put in my water. So I think I have like eight, three, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I have eight organic lime so those are great for waters and really anything else and then i grabbed some organic onions because i loved the onions from imperfect foods last time they were really really good so i went ahead and i grabbed three of those guys i mean four and then a ton of organic potatoes just because i do have some recipes coming up this next week that call for potatoes so i grabbed some organic yellow potatoes i believe i have five of those and lastly we have something up oh i think i have beets in here no beets. They are organic nectarines. I couldn't remember what else I ordered. These look so good. So that is this week's or this bi-weekly Imperfect Foods box. You guys, I'm telling you, if you want to help prevent food waste, get some great prices on organic or conventional products, highly recommend Imperfect Foods. I do have a link down below that'll give you $10 off your first Imperfect Foods box. So check it out. So it's about 10.35, I'm hungry. I ate breakfast when I got home, but I'm needing a little something more. So I'm gonna give myself a punch of protein so I can make it through till about noon for lunch. So I have one half of a cup or 110 grams of the Good Culture Full Fat Cottage Cheese. And then I know it comes to no surprise to anyone that I'm having kombucha. So this is going to be six smart points total. I am working on my meal plan, so I've got a pile of papers here, but I'm hungry, so I'm gonna have some lunch. So I'm having my meal prep that I made on Monday. Again, if you have not seen that video, I'll link it down below for you guys. But this is cheesy taco meatloaf. It smells so good. I chopped up some celery here, and I'm gonna have that with some of the Kite Hill French onion dip. Look how good that looks. This dip is delicious. You can have, I think, three tablespoons for one point. So I'm going to just dip my celery in that. And then I know, I know I had cottage cheese earlier, but I'm going to have some good culture 
cottage cheese. This is the one with pineapple. I just love this. It kind of cures that little after lunch sweet tooth as well. And it's only three smart points and packs like 15 grams of protein. So that is my lunch. I'm still a bit hungry from lunch. Whenever I work out heavily like I did today, I have a little more of an appetite. So I want to save quite a bit of points and calories for my afternoon smoothie because I have a new smoothie recipe for you guys, or protein shake. I can't wait to share it with you. So I have about a cup of strawberries here, and then I have, I don't know, a couple tablespoons of this Marzetti glaze. You can have three tablespoons of this for 10 calories. So I have maybe half of that, so five calories worth of the glaze, and about a cup of strawberries. So this should definitely tide me over until I make that delicious protein shake. So here's my new little find. This is from that same company, Adirac, that I showed the marshmallow sticks and the meat thermometer from in my weekend vlog. If you have not seen that video, you definitely have to check it out. I'll put it at the end of this video on the end screen and link it down below. But this is a three blade handheld spiralizer. And what I love about it is how small it is so that I can easily store it. You go ahead and put your zucchini in the top there, you could do tomatoes, carrots, onions, and then these little picks right here will stick to whatever vegetable you're spiralizing. You put it on and you turn, and your spiralized veggies come out the bottom. But what I really like about this one too, it has three separate blades, so it can cut your vegetables in three different sizes, which I really like that. And then there's the wide open blade so that you can put big vegetables in. Sometimes we get those ginormous zucchinis from friends' gardens and things, and this has the big enough top here that we can put those big veggies. And then in the bottom here, those colored pegs, those are the size that you wanna spiralize. So there's one, two, and then a reset button. So yeah, this is really cool. Super, super affordable. I'll link it down below for you guys. And I'm in the process of trying to get a discount. If I get one, I'll put that down below too. But whatever it is, I'll link it down below. But I really am excited to give this a try. And again, easy storage because it's so small. So here is my latest protein shake concoction that I am loving. So this is it right here. It's such a pretty color, kind of like a cream sickle color. So here is what is in this protein shake. So first you're going to need some nut milk of your choice. I use the forager cashew milk. You could use almond milk, cashew milk, macadamia milk, whatever you'd like. And then you're going to need protein powder. And of course I use live well. This is my favorite protein powder. It is only one point per scoop. It is a plant protein, but it's not your mama's plant protein. There is no aftertaste, no chalkiness. It's literal perfection. It tastes so good. It has 17 grams of complete protein. The ingredients are absolutely perfection. There is nothing questionable. This is by far the lowest point cleanest protein I've been able to find. This is the coconut. I have vanilla, cacao, and unflavored. I have all of them, but this coconut is really good in this protein shake. Then I have one of these. These are brand new at Trader Joe's. These are the Acerola Puree Packets. And what I think this is, is I think Acerola is a cherry. Correct me if I'm wrong, but there's cherries here on the package, and I believe I've heard of that before, but I put one of these entire packets in there. It's only 30 calories, and what's great about this is it's unsweetened, so I count it as zero points, but it is tangy. It isn't super sweet, but I really like that tang with the coconut protein and then this fruit blend. This is the organic tropical fruit blend from Trader Joe's with pineapple, bananas, strawberry, and mango. So this is really Really, really sweet so it really complements kind of the sourness of this it's so good you guys I love it it is like tropical vibes so it is one point for the protein powder two points for this milk you could use a different milk for one point zero and zero so this is a three smart point protein shake it has about 18 grams of protein and I'm telling you this combination is stellar for dinner tonight I am making a beef and vegetable biscuit bake. My husband saw the Brussels sprouts and freaked out. So normally this recipe has Brussels sprouts in it, but he didn't want them. So I omitted them, but I am going to put them down in the recipe on my website because I think they would be a great addition if you didn't have a whiny husband. So let me show you what's in dinner. First, you're going to need some low fat or non-fat milk, flour, oil of your choice. I have avocado oil, Biscuits, we're not gonna use this whole can, but we are going to use five of these biscuits. 
nonstick cooking spray, butter of your choice, I'm using melt plant-based butter, whole carrots, salt, pepper, and thyme, mushrooms, and onion, these are really, really small, so I'm gonna go ahead and chop up all three of these, and a pound of 93% ground beef. So let's make dinner. First thing I'm going to do is peel and slice the carrots. And I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and roast up these Brussels sprouts for me and just not put them in dinner, just have them on the side. I don't want them to go bad and I love Brussels sprouts. So I have to roast the carrots anyway. So let's do a two for one. So I went ahead and chopped up carrots and Brussels sprouts for me. So what I'm going to do is just drizzle a little bit of oil over the vegetables and then I use my hands, like you know, and kind of mix it all up and combine the seasoning and the oil on all of the veggies. We're going to go ahead and use just a little bit of thyme. So I'm just going to sprinkle that on top. And again, I'll just hand mix these up. Pop these into the oven at 425 and get them roasted. While the veggies are roasting, I have the onion cut up here, as well as my pound of ground beef. We're gonna go ahead and let this cook until the ground beef is browned and the onions have cooked through as well. Once your hamburger is browned, we're gonna go ahead and drain any excess grease and we're just going to put that into a bowl here so that we can add some butter to our pan to continue cooking the veggies. To that same pan, I went ahead and added five teaspoons of my butter. In my bowl here, I mixed together three tablespoons of flour with a pinch of salt. Once this butter melts, we're going to add half of the flour mixture into the butter, stir it together till it kind of thickens and becomes a bit like a roux. We're gonna go ahead and add the remaining flour mixture to the pan. And then I have one cup of low fat milk. I'm going to add that gradually. And then once I have added all of the milk, stirring in between, I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of water. Once the sauce is bubbly and nice and thick, we're going to add in the meat mixture and the roasted carrots. I went ahead and threw my Brussels sprouts back into the oven to roast a little bit longer. And then we're also going to add in the whole pack of mushrooms. I just went ahead and sliced those up. We're going to allow this meat mixture with the mushrooms and carrots to kind of warm all the way through. And in the meantime, we're going to spray a six by nine baking dish with some nonstick cooking spray so we can put this bake together and get it into the oven. So I've added the meat mixture to the baking dish and then I have five of the biscuits. I'm going to cut these in half and layer these on top. We are putting this in the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes or until it's heated through and the biscuits are golden brown. So I just pulled the bake out of the oven. It looks really good. Here are my Brussels sprouts. I'm going to save these for tomorrow. I don't know that I'm hungry enough to have them in addition to this, but I'm gonna let this rest for a couple minutes, serve it up, and I'll be back to share points and calories. All right, here's dinner. So the casserole or the bake makes six servings. So this is one sixth of the recipe. It is seven smart points on all plans, 359 calories. So here is dessert for tonight. No surprise to anyone, I'm having a vanilla Cleo bar. So this is what I'm gonna have, round out my day today. So that was my food. I'll put my points here on the screen for dessert as well as my total points for the day calories for dessert and total calories for the day. Thank you so much for coming along with me on today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. It was pretty fun taking you guys with me on a weekday versus a, a Sunday. I hope you enjoyed all of the good food that I shared with you today. And don't forget about tonight's dinner recipe. It was really, really good. It will be linked on my website. The link for that is down in the description box. Click that little drop down arrow right under the video and it'll take you directly to the description box. Also down there, you will find the links to my favorite things, including the items that I shared with you today, the spiralizer, the live well, and all of the discount codes that I can share with you, as well as the link to head over and join my Facebook group. We would love to have you join us over there. We are such a, an amazing supportive community. We are always looking for new 
cool members to join that community. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on so you don't miss a single video. We do what I eat today every single Wednesday so you don't wanna miss out. Give this one a big thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. It really helps my channel, so thank you so much. And of course, have a wonderful Wednesday and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.